Gourmet Guitars, the best Luthiers DVD series. From guitar enthusiasts for guitar enthusiasts. Wish I could save you from yourself Jump inside your head Take you by the wheel I really believe that the way to enjoy an instrument and use it to its highest purpose is to sit down with it and to listen to it and to ask that guitar what song it would like to play. It's better to play to the instrument and bring out its beauty and its abilities in the areas that suit a particular genre of music, a particular song. Certain guitars like to play slow melodic songs. Other guitars like to play high energy, fast um, successions of notes. Each guitar is individual and absolutely uh, a guitar can sound completely wrong and terrible in a person's hands and that person can hand it across to someone else and it can sound beautiful, lyrical and sweet. So it's really a matter often of the player taking accountability for their own style, their technique, their level of skill and the big secret is their ability to relax and let the music play them. Everything else go, hold you in my heart, let everything else go. When I evaluate a guitar, I look for evenness in string volume from string to string. So when I play with the same pick pressure, I'm hearing the same volume relative string to string. Next thing I look for is even timbre, even color, um, throughout the full range of the neck. So I'll generally play a simple major chord. I'll listen for the sustain of each note, for the decay as each note dies out. I want it to die out at the same rate on each string, in each position of each fret, all the way up the neck. Um, I'm looking for mechanical perfection in an instrument. The tone, I don't judge at all. That I leave to the player. So here is a demonstration again. We play it up higher. Sustain is still there. Color is even. We have the same character of tone everywhere. And it's these characteristics, these characteristics um, are very, very integral to judging a fine instrument and separating a fine handmade guitar from perhaps a manufactured guitar where one instrument may have been a lucky uh, result, uh, but certainly not as predictable as can be with small atheists. Born into the living without a clue What is everyone's opinion on how to make it through? First you learn to read and then you learn to write Then they leave you in the middle Between the black and the white a new guitar, like a new pair of shoes at the shoe store, should be comfortable and something that you like right from the beginning. The shoe salesman that says, oh, the leather will stretch. Uh, they, may not, they may hurt now, but they'll feel good later. I wouldn't trust that for shoes or for guitars. 
So even though the guitar is new and very stiff sounding perhaps, maybe lacking in the full bloom of volume and richness of tone that it's going to have two years from now, still there are characteristics of the sound that are very much present that can be appreciated, can be judged, and in terms of the final effect of owning this guitar over two years, five years, 20 years, or a lifetime, you're going to be able to understand that there's a process that takes place there in the flowering or the opening up of the instrument. Um, the character of the tone won't change. What you will experience over time is the top will be more relaxed and will be capable of producing more volume, a richer, deeper tone of the same sound and character, but more of it. So if you like it in the beginning, you'll love it in a couple of years. So many choices you got to take All oh, so many damn decisions you got to make Better living and dying in a world that makes sense Than spending all your time walking on this fence Truth is I can't even help myself there's a constant ball and chain wrapped around my feet What I'm feeling now you just can't know I want to hold you in my heart Let everything else go Hold you in my heart Let everything else go Hold you in my heart Let everything Gourmet Guitars, the best Luthiers DVD series. From guitar enthusiasts for guitar enthusiasts. <laughs>